What did he find? What did he find? Oh my gosh, it's a thrifty find. Time for another episode of Tom's Thrifty the Finds. We're talking Jake Overby, a folk artist. We'll also talk a little bit about Burnett Pleaton. I found this painting at a local thrift store in Washington, just north of Portland, Oregon. And it was about 10 bucks. Beautiful little painting. You can see it's very vibrant in its colors, pretty simplistic in its style. I mean, you have the two trees here that kind of keep your eye drawn within the center, and it brings your eye up into the mountains. You go through this little pretty little lake slash river thing. You got the deer here. You got the middle ground, the background, the foreground, and these little guys. Uh... Well, on the back here, coffee break. <clears throat> See, brighten up your room, office, den, with a beautiful oil painting, or have a beautiful mural painted on your wall. We ship anywhere. Jake Overbeek, Leota, Minnesota. First thing I really found out about Jake Overbeek is that he paints a lot of similar paintings to this. And I'll put up a few examples right now. So as you can see, he, he captured a very similar composition, uh, similar painting style. He didn't really progress with that. He just kind of, he found something that worked for him and he just kept doing it over and over again and that's probably what people around him liked and that's probably what sold. Probably only took him less than a day to paint these if even that. I really couldn't find too much about this artist except for a few things. The first thing was a gravesite. When I looked up his name I found a tombstone with his wife and his birthday. He was born in 1912 and died in 1983. But the next thing I found was an obituary for his son who apparently tried to continue his legacy and left, about, left behind a lot of paintings himself. Other than that, there really isn't that much information about him. Anyway, so yeah, he grew up in Leota. It's this very small town, a population of about 200. Here I got, I brought up Leota in Minnesota. There it is, Leota. They got Leota Park, got Leota Cafe, which has a cool little Coca-Cola sign in the front of it. Ooh, a thrift store. Pixel, pixel, wizzle, wizzle, wizzle. What the? That is not a thrift store. Oh my god. If you go there, you will die. What is this? Is this the thrift store? <laughs> no! So the next thing I found out is that there was an artist with a very similar style. And this is where Burnett Pleaton comes into play. He was born in 1910 just two years before Jake Overbeek. And Pleaton started painting in 1932, and according to infomercantile.com, he grew inspiration to paint from an artist that once visited his family farm. Could this artist have been Overbeek? Maybe they were friends? So Burnett Pleaton actually lived three hours north of Leota, which is where Jake Overbeek lived. He lived in a town called Wendell, so there's very good possibility that these two knew each other, which would make sense to why their styles are so similar. The town of Wendell is also very small. It's only a population of 176. They got Benny D's and Wendell Park, and they got a gazebo. And of course, they have a water tower with a town name on it. Classic small town vibe, you know what I mean? Pleaton was coined as the world's fastest painter, and he even had a truck that told the truth of the matter. He apparently stated that he painted over 100,000 paintings in six years. All right, so let's compare the two artist styles. First up are these two orange tinted paintings. Um, trees hugging both sides. Both had the mountain range in the background with the lake in the middle ground. And then another fun fact I learned about Pleaton actually is that he used to use just household paintbrushes. He didn't actually use artist paintbrushes. So next up I'll compare my Jake Overbeek painting to one of Burnett Pleaton's. I actually put two of Jake Overbeek's because they look so much the same painting. Except one has a little road in the bottom left corner. But if you look at Burnett Pleaton's, it's practically the same exact style, the same setting piece. You got the water the small waterfall with the deer um clearly a slightly different color scheme it's it's quite stunning to see how similar these two artists were i mean it makes you wonder if maybe 
they just trained under the same person and then they went off and did their own thing. And while I'm at it, I'll bring up a little bonus, Jerry. You know what to do. Here we have Google Glasses. These things are super rare, super hard to find. You can only get them from Google. Bet you didn't know there was a Google store you can spend money for your baby. Stuff that they would give away for free. How about fun time? I, for one, welcome the Google bot. I got them for 99 cents at Salvation Army. Now to finish it off, I just wanted to talk about a little guy called... You might know him. Mr. Ross. First name, Robert. Nickname... Bobby. <laughs> yeah, we're talking Bob Ross. He started painting in the 1960s where he studied wet on wet painting, which allowed him to finish a piece in under an hour. Yeah, Bob Ross had some skills. But I did want to compare his stuff to Jake's, the painting I bought. Now, there's no denying that the quality of Bob Ross's painting is better, but look at the composition. It's very similar to Jake Overbeek's. You got the trees on either side, the water flowing up. I mean, maybe this was just a popular theme for folk artists, but the one thing that Bob Ross's painting doesn't have, a deer. Aww. Sorry, Bob. You lose. <laughs> I love this painting, and I don't know if I'll ever part with it. Just smaller ones tend to go 20 to 50 bucks usually. A larger piece sold for $174. It's not like You'd be investing in a fortune if you found one of these. If you saw one in the wild, you might want to pick it up if it interests you. If you can get it cheap. Thanks for watching. Thrifty, thrifty, time, thrifty finds. What'll you find next? I don't know. Guess you'll just have to watch the next show. Tom's thrifty finds. Doo -doo. Yeah.